Now, squatters who had their houses demolished in Msambweni continue to appeal for help, even as they ask President William Ruto to intervene and come to their aid. Hezron Kimari spent some time with the affected residents in Msambweni and brings this report three weeks after the demolition happened. happened uh, earlier this month where over 3,000 residents were left homeless has continued to uh, cause a lot of pain to most of the uh, residents and the victims where a number of them are continuing uh, spending night in cold and we'll be speaking to a number of victims here in Sambuen who are currently sleeping at uh, one of the most maybe to share with us their experience. Mimi la wamazangu kubwa ni kwamba ni kwamba tumezika wazazi wetu tumezika mababu zetu manyanya zetu hapa lakini la kushangaza ni kuwa kumekuja mtu anasema kuwa ardhi ni yake na mimi umri wangu nimefika sasa hivi miaka 65 wakati ule watu walidanganywa kuwa tunaitwa kiwanda hapa nilikuwa na miaka 20 ilikuwa ni mmoja wa wale tuna imani kuwa tunapata kazi lakini mwaka huu tarehe sita mwezi huu twashangaa tunaletwa matinga tinga na maskari wengi kabisa paka baadhi ya vijana wetu wengine walijeruhiwa. Kwa hivyo kama kweli kabisa serikali pia inajua kabisa kuna mzaliwa hapa na kuna mwananchi hapa. Naomba sana wazingatie na waweze kutuambia nisho gani tutapata katika msambo wenu. Lakini kuna baadhi ya wale ambao wanaungana na hizo group lakini sisi tunataka haki yetu ipatikane. Mimi bado na imani na wajukuu na watoto wangu. Mjukuu wangu mmoja mpaka leo anaenda shule tokana na ile vitu vyake vilivunjwa na vya mamake pia vilivunjwa. Mamake sasa hizi ameshikua na kama ambaye akili imebadilika amekimbia. Nilikuja nikiwa msana hapa. Ntarundi kwetu ntarundi wapi sasa hii? Na hisi hapa kama nikijua ni kwangu na hisi. Sasa sasa hii niko na watoto. Sijua ataenda wapi. Nitawabeba niwapeleke nyumbani. Naomba serikali vile vile tuliwachagua kama watu wa Mlima Kenya. Wajua watu wa Mlima Kenya wako kila mahali. Si huko ukikuyuni peke yake ama Meru peke yake. Tuko kila mahali. Hapa tumesanganyikana tuko kabila sote. Watu angalie, watu saindie. Tangu tumomolewa rais hajaiongea. Rigathi Kasagu hajaiongea. Lakini watu wao sehemu ndio anaongelea peke yake hata sisi tulitoa kura zetu saa 12 tukaenda kuwachagua na hawatuongelei jamani watusaidie tutaenda wapi mimi hata fea kurundi nyumbani sina hata nikirundi nyumbani nitarundi wapi sina makao nyumbani mimi ni msana sina makao ndarundi niende wapi ndapeleka watoto niko nao wapi sasa naisi hapa sina mbele wala nyuma mahali wako watu angalie bila tuliwachagua kama viongozi walituambia hata tusaidia hawaangalii ukabila wala nini Mahali hali wako watuangalie vile tunateseka tunateseka sana hatuna mbele wala nyuma well it's a hope of these victims that the leaders and also the government especially president william ruto will intervene and see how maybe this our uh, residents or squatters will be settled in this area through a negotiation with the investor reporting for kitten news from msambweni in voi i'm hezron kimari Right. Now the World Bank in collaboration with the national government has piloted a five-year